Welcome to Big Balls Garage. Today my brother will be doing a review on this little camper that I've used quite a few times and enjoyed it. So, welcome to Big Balls Garage. I've had this camper for about six months now. Quite enjoyed it, the wife loves it. This is one of the better built quality out there on the market. The fit to finish, the caulking seams, the, the structure of it, it's all quite nicely put together. As you can see, this is a solid, solid little trailer. So anyways, the only reason I actually got this one here instead of going with another teardrop is because of this big, they call it a stargazer window. And this guy here is actually quite nice because it allows tons of light in here and doesn't actually make you feel claustrophobic. Yeah, it also comes with these uh, rolling shades and I believe if I can reach it, it's going to be a screen that comes down to give you the bug protection. But this year, I would not have bought the trailer without this because it, the other ones were just a little too claustrophobic. The construction, like I said, the construction fit to finish is excellent. And this is the Boondock version, the 2021 Boondock XL. So it's actually six feet wide, which I love the space. It's just between me and the wife, we can, we can put a couple kids in there if we had to. We also comes with this aluminum tub that the battery and the propane tank will sit in here. I just have the battery now because it's actually off, uh, just because I don't like storing propane in the garage. But actually you got plenty of room on either side. It's all well built aluminum. It actually can support quite a bit. Usually most people put a generator here, but I, I really don't like generators. It's kind of noisy. So if we come around the side and show you a couple little features here. The construction of the side walls here, the graphics, that was basically our choice to pick those. We have two doors, one on one side, one on the other side, as you can see. We also have another window, which allows plenty of light in there. So, we're going to go and show you. The opposite end over here. So this is the interior. We've added a three inch topper here, memory foam, just to get a little bit extra comfort. They come with the three inch mattress, which is all right, but I, you know, we're getting older, we'd like something a little bit better. Uh, another good feature in here for the cold nights is they actually have a little heater back here that actually is remote controlled that will allow this to heat. You don't need much because it's, it's a small little camper and it actually warms up quite good. We also have a radio that's Bluetooth connected so we can listen to music through the four speakers, two in here and two at the back there in the, in the galley. The air conditioner we really haven't used much but it's a nice feature to have just in case we decide to go down to Florida or Nevada uh, next year. Then we probably would use that. I've added the TV for those rainy nights so we don't really uh, just get bored of sitting outside in the rain. We also have a fantastic fan here that allows some ventilation in here. And we also have these windows here like I was mentioning up at the front. One's got a screen and the other one's got a privacy shade so you can actually have a bit of ventilation nobody can really peek in. These windows fold in and out. And they just pulls tight and they're actually pretty secure because they have about one, two, three, four locks on this. So you don't have to worry about it, somebody trying to pry it open. And this is the front of it. This is the, I guess the headboard section of it with a little bit of storage inside. The speakers, a cup holder, and we also have these little lights that actually glow blue. That's for a little bit of ambiance there at night so you don't get blinded. And if you decide to read, we actually have a little bit brighter. There's one on either side of the camper. In here, we just have the basic storage. We start putting a little bit of clothing in there to kind of store our stuff. And that it's on basic both sides there. So We also have a fire, a fire alarm or smoke detector, a fire extinguisher, and a CO detector that was all factory built in here, which is a nice feature because you never know what happens. So let me show you the back of the galley now, the kitchen. And basically we have two handles here to lock the galley and we just open up the galley. And we do have a sink with a water holding tank. And this actually is pretty nice to have because then we just drain it off the bottom. We have a control for the pump so we don't have to reach underneath. We also have accent lighting here that lights up the kitchen galley. We also have another light up here that light gives you some more light. Now these cabinets here is, this came with a microwave, but my wife actually didn't, we actually don't use microwaves to tell you the truth, but we did need more storage, so I decided to build these shelves and pull the microwave out for the storage. And now, 
it's actually more convenient because it's all ready to go. We're the last minute people, so if we decide to want to go, we're going to go. And everything's will be packed up in here except for the food. Basically, we just bring our coolers full of food and we store in the Norcold fridge. We used to have a, a Yeti cooler here that comes from factory, but since we actually don't like the cooler because we have to carry some ice in it, I decided to install this Norcold uh, NR741, I believe, BB. It's actually pretty nice. It has a little freezer section up here. Nice blue light so you don't get blinded at nighttime when you decide to go get a drink. And it actually stores more than the Eddy cooler. And we do boondock with this. The solar panel and the battery does keep up with it. We just got to watch our lights. Now, coming to the back, another good thing while we were talking about boondock is that we have a solar panel that is factory built into this. And this thing actually keeps up. You know, on a three and a half hour drive when we don't have any hydro, this uh, fridge in the back, the Norcold fridge, that actually keeps up the solar panel, the battery, and I don't notice a thing with it, nor does the back compartment get hot. So, over here, we have our conventional hookup. We have an antenna, if you decide to put an antenna in, this is for shore power. And then here's how you fill your water and uh, you can go to city, city water in there. Another feature about this is we have a shower, built-in shower in here that you can just pull out, plug in, and put back in there. We've actually used it to rinse off the, tra the uh, trailer after uh, we've been camping. Uh, another nice feature about this is these sturdy fenders. We're not supposed to stand on these. But they do come with the aluminum uh, steps on either side of them. This is part of the boondock version. And we just can step up here and we're all good to go. Um, is there anything you don't like about this camper? What I really, well, not really. The only thing I don't like or didn't like, I, I fixed it, was the, uh, I believe, the microwave, is, it's okay but we don't use it, but the, the fridge, putting the fridge in because we didn't actually like the, the uh, cooler aspect of it. Everything else here, I really don't have anything to complain about, as the fit to finish is nice. Oh yeah, there's also storage here that's only available on the boondock. And we do have privacy shades on the big, on the circular window here. Um, How is it to tow? Oh, towing on this? I actually didn't notice any gas difference in my Toyota Tacoma. It's about a 2019 Tacoma. And the gas mileage, if, if it was anything, probably maybe, I don't know, it really I didn't notice it much. And we went through quite a bit of hills. It's about 1,340 pounds, I believe. And the tongue weight's about 160, I think. I can't remember. But it actually is pretty light. Uh, other than that, there's really not much to say bad about this. Like, nothing's broken off in our hands. Nothing's really fell apart. My brother's used it. Uh, I don't think he had an issue with it. The tires, they're not noisy on the road either. So I was expecting them to be a little bit noisy, but I didn't actually hear any, any noise in the back. So. so there's the conclusion for the review on the new camp tag XL boondock. I've used it. I love it. It's a good thing he bought one. If you're thinking about getting one, it's highly recommended. It's not heavy, easy to tow. Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for other reviews.